you think you can easily express your personal opinions in urban development projects? I'm afraid many of you say no. In this presentation, we will ask if public participation can be realized in a smarter way. Uh, can digitalization help to realize participation without shouting? Still, the reality often looks like this. We organize a lot of public events, workshops, and meetings to discuss with people. Usually, we get only few people to show up, and we also know in advance what they want to say. Maybe some of you have been in this situation, being able to share your thoughts, but most of you have been sitting silent. Information we collect in these events often remains hard to handle and analyze afterwards. Typically, the end result looks like this. We get a bunch of post-it stickers that are very hard to process further. We have not been happy with these existing approaches and methods. Urban planning and design obviously happens in places. Therefore, we have wanted to find a way to develop place-based public engagement. Our dream was to make broader public participation possible by using innovative digital tools. Naturally, place-based uh, data collection should happen online to guarantee uh, the collection of very large data sets. Our in innovation adds a whole new uh, soft information layer to geographic information system on top of the traditional hard uh, data layers of the system. And our vision has come true. Currently, there are over 7,000 projects oh, done with the Mapshaner platform in over 30 countries. We have been happy to follow how creatively cities like New York, Denver, and Stockholm are using Mapshaner. It has to be easy for the residents to participate and fun also for the experts to create tools exactly fitting their projects. According to our ex experiences, it really is possible to reach high number of participants with reasonable effort. We can uh, reach new uh, residence groups <coughs> like children and young people and minority language group. People can also participate individually without being influenced by group opinion. Even more importantly, we have been able to produce high-quality, usable knowledge from people to planners. The place-based data is easy to integrate into existing systems. Planners have also been happy to get positive feedback from the residents, sometimes for the first time ever. We have been rather surprised how eager cities actually have been to try map-based and other digital tools. They have been willing to test new tools and learn new practices. The collective knowledge has, in many cases, made a real difference. Welcome to participate our workshop, Participation Without Consensus, tomorrow in Hafen City University. We want to discuss with you how smart participation can be realized throughout the planning process. Come and share your thoughts, <clears throat> how we can bring together various tools, information and people to create more livable and lovable places in the future. <laughs>